Hello, this is Rachel with Good Behavior Beginnings, and I wanted to give an update on our homeschool for the fall. Uh, I was doing weekly updates, and yeah, that's not gonna happen on a regular basis now. Life is just too crazy, and I don't know that you guys want um, a week by week, but hey, it was our first getting started, and you saw how we got started and how it was going. So this is just gonna be our fall update. We have been using the Blossom and Root curriculum at the beginning of the fall semester for social studies and, well, not social studies, kind of social studies, science and language arts, as well as it's got art and some cultural slash geography that's in it. Um, we had ordered the uh, Moving Beyond the Page curriculum and it hadn't arrived, we were still missing pieces. So we started the language arts with Blossom and Root um, around 1st of November or so, we actually had all the stuff to get started with the moving beyond the page. So we are doing that now, we're gonna finish out the rest of our semester here with uh, moving beyond the page. And then we're gonna kind of sit down as a family and talk and see what we like um, about each one. And I'll do a video about that so you guys can hear moving beyond the page versus uh, blossom and root. But we will, uh, so far, I think it's going well. We sort of shifted around some other things, which I'm going to talk about here in a minute. Um, but the blossom and root curriculum was great for getting started. And the moving beyond the page curriculum has definitely been going more in depth. And that was sort of more what I was expecting us to do this year. So we've started that now, yay. All right, we have sort of shifted our schedule around a little bit. We are focusing during the week, working on our language arts and social studies with the um, Moving Beyond the Page curriculum. And we do math and Spanish every day as well. Some days, those four things are all we get to. Um, other days, we're able to work on a few extras, but primarily we've been focusing on doing those extras on Friday, which is actually when my husband does the homeschool routine. And those extras include art lessons, the culture slash geography, and um, some of the science or a good chunk of the science from the Blossom and Root curriculum. That system seems to be working fairly well for us right now. Uh, we have more time and can have a more leisurely pace on Fridays. It's not me, I'm working, but they can. They start more leisurely, they take their time and they can work through all of those. Plus many of those tend to be more hands-on. And so that's just fun and, and sort of a uh, ease into the weekend type of um, academic day. We have been able to fade out parent adult help for math, Spanish, and music. And all of those are completely independent now. So I can tell the kid, okay, you need to go and practice your music, or you, know, you need to get your Spanish and your math lessons done um, before a certain time while I'm at work or you know, we finished that, now you have Spanish and math to do, and it gets done, and it, the grades look good too, right? Those are two things that are computer-based for us, and they do track progress, so I can go back in, I can look, I look at the end of each day to confirm that it was done, and also to see how it went, and they're both going pretty well. So that's been really helpful too, to create that independence with those routines so that it gives me a little bit more flexibility and time so that I can handle some other things that need to be handled. It also has honestly made those subjects more enjoyable for the kid because they don't have to do it when I say, do it my way. They have a little bit more flexibility and because um, they can do it independently, they actually get a little bit more free time. They don't have to immediately do it, right? I 
I don't care <laughs> if I'm going to be working from 12 to 4. I don't care when you get it done, so long as by 4 o'clock it's done. And it is. So that's been really great. And that's been a really good transition. And I'm hoping that, you know, maybe there are a couple of other things that um, in the future we would fade to be more independent work. And it also like really gives me hope that this could be something that maybe we do past just this year. And, you know, it wouldn't be a complete drain on our time. Uh, let's see, we did take a week break, um, first uh, full week of November, right around the US elections. And during that week, we did a mini unit on elections, which was two days. We read a couple of books and then we held our own mock election in our house for house president, um, who was then going to be responsible for chores or making sure that chores get done or something like that. Um, we all voted. We also went around and had our pets a vote by um, going towards or stepping on either uh, color of a piece of paper. Um, there's a video with the kittens uh, voting blue or red, which were the colors that we used to help um, select in our election for our pets. And that was a fun little activity. We also talked about how it really tied in with the current events. And because we had a lot going on that week, we just did that mini unit on the election. And then the rest of the week was a read week is what we called it. So we read, we just read. We read from magazines, we read from books, we did audio books, and we just read more and on preferred activities, as well as things that were, you know, interests uh, driven. So that's how things have been going for us this fall. Let me know how things are going for you.